everyone, I'm Alicia Malone hanging out at the South by Southwest Film Festival and I'm joined by the campfire by Bo Burnham and Elsie Fisher. Ooh, it's so warm and toasty. It's so, so good. Warm. From eighth grade, director and star. I was just telling you that I loved seeing this movie at Sundance and if I didn't know that a guy had written it and directed it, I would never have been able to guess because Great. it reminded me so much of how I felt and how awkward I felt at that age and still kind of do. Yeah. So why did you want to make this film? I don't know, I wanted to write something about the internet and how I was feeling at the time, which was nervous, and, and, and my nerves felt like they were connected to the internet somehow. And so I sat down to write a bunch of things and stumbled on a voice of this girl and found that I could say everything I wanted through her. I mean, I didn't sit down to write a story about a 13-year-old girl because I wouldn't feel qualified to, but it was just a, a strange thing that when it started to happen, it felt like this feels very personal and right to me, and it feels like the best way to talk about the current moment is through uh, someone that is really feeling the current moment, which is an eighth grader. Yeah, Elsie, when you read the script, could you relate to that? And also, what did you think about the social media messages? Oh, um, when I first read the script, I was really happy with the project because all I'd really um, seen through auditions was like the campfire scene and then her yeah, videos. Yeah, I didn't let her read the script until after, after oh, she got the role. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and I only, I only let her read it once because I didn't want her to overly... Yeah, um, just kind of keep it fresh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, I was really happy. The role. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was really happy to see someone my age being portrayed as like vulnerable in a very relatable sense, and not just, oh God, you know, I have so many problems. I have no friends. Yeah. Um, you know, and she just she has a lot of internal struggle, and that was really cool for me. Um, yeah. And not a teenage girl who come, who takes off her glasses, comes down the stairs, exactly, and is yeah. suddenly super glamorous. Yeah, yeah, it's not about that. Today it's about putting the glasses on. Yeah. yeah. It's a whole different aesthetic. <laughs> Wholly different aesthetic. Well, it's given that it has so much about social media in the film, it, was that difficult to shoot? In terms um, of phones? Yeah, it was, it, was, it was its own challenge. I mean, we, we tested a lot of it beforehand. I mean, the real challenge was it was the internet for the internet. We didn't do any screen replacement or anything. So, like, those were actual Instagram accounts, actual Twitter accounts. So we had to make we had to make all these accounts. Then you had to make all the accounts to make them follow her. And then, like, when she's DMing people on Instagram, we just, like, our, our Erica on props was just, like, off screen uh, texting her in real time. It was very stressful and granular and annoying. But... I, I, I hope it, it shows because um, yeah. I hate when they replace screens in movies. I feel like I can always tell. Yeah, and um, it's it's a hard thing to shoot. Yeah, it's and it just, concept. well, it's like, it might look okay, but like the light coming off the phone never looks right. Like when you scroll through Instagram and you're looking through different photos, the light actually changes on your face, on your thumb. So we wanted that to actually happen. And the internet was a character that she has a relationship with, kind yeah, of. Yeah, so. Yeah. It would have felt like, you know, like the tennis ball in The Hobbit. You know what I mean? Having, having her act with a tennis ball and not have... We wanted, we wanted the internet to be in the movie playing itself, so. And I love the fact that it's, it feels improvised, the whole film, even though it was scripted, because it's not totally perfect. There are moments when characters stumble over words. So how did Bo direct you to help make that feel natural on screen? I mean, I, you do, you do a, like a really good, he does a really good job of writing it. Um, and part of it was like not letting me overread the script and I would get the lines for the day on the day of to keep it fresh in my mind. Um, and it's, it's just really, it's how like people talk. Yeah. It's, it's, so yeah. you write with all the extra words in there. Yeah, yeah. And it's, yeah, the ums and the ahs and the likes and really just telling her, you know, you can't make a mistake. You know, the, the the only mistake you could make is is being, you know, prodigiously articulate, which isn't a problem for you know. It, it, it's. I told her I didn't say a complete sentence until I was 24. You know, this is about someone struggling to articulate themselves. When you're that age, you don't know how to string words together. So if you stumble or you forget a line or you go with it, she's she's constantly not knowing what to say. She's constantly forgetting the lines she had in her mind when she's approaching this boy across the hallway. You know. Mm -hmm. um, but she has an incredible gift for memorization. You know, she can read one thing and memorize it right away. Um, but we we always kind of stood on that sort of 95% memorized sort of place, yeah. just so there could be a. We were we were always in danger of, of losing it, which yeah. is just keeps it keeps it alive. Yeah, it does. It feels a little bit unpredictable. Like you never yeah. know what's going to happen. And this is a super film nerdy thing to say, but I heard you were influenced by Catherine Bia. Yeah, of course. And her films, and they do have that. Yeah, sense about yeah. Them. I mean, it's incredible. Well, her films are just so. 
really just feel moment to moment and not necessarily in the most dangerous, the whole thing is just dangerous. Just the way in which things are being captured is, is dangerous where it feels like you really, really don't know what's coming and you're not really even sure how to process the person you're seeing. Is this something, am I okay to laugh at this? Am I sympathizing with this? Am, yeah, um, but yeah, she, she was um, a huge influence of, of mine. Marissa Silver also made this film old enough mm. that, that is re does uh, a little younger than 13 really, really well. It, it's rare that movies, uh, George Washington, you know, um, yeah. th that film as well, that, that allows the sort of inner chaos of a kid to, to express itself on, on screen. You know, rather than like movies about little poet laureates that are so articulate about their own experience. I always find that so lame. You know, I, I don't relate to that at all. No, when, you know, it's like being a kid and being a human is not knowing what to say ever. Yeah. Um, well, I'll see you were the breakout star at Sundance. Everyone was talking about her. Yeah, everyone was like, who is this girl? And she's front and center of this amazing film. So what has your whole journey been like since Sundance and now South By? Um, it's seriously just been going back to school and no one caring. <laughs> really? Yeah, because yeah. I mean, I go, yet, no yeah. Yeah. I go to a public school and like the only, you know, people that know I exist as uh, an actress is my theater class <laughs> because I didn't get a role in my school play. When um, she got back, she, she was in eighth grade, yeah. graduated, did the movie, and yeah. then went to freshman year. Yeah. And she didn't get cast in the school play. Oh, so okay. I publicly called out her, Mr. Donia from Thousand Oaks High School yeah. should be played, fired. You um, played him calling, out, er, calling Donia out for the whole, all of his classes, <laughs> and now but yeah, uh, you know, Thousand Oaks High School, I don't think they're big A24 fans. I don't think everyone at Thousand Oaks High School is watching oh, yeah, The Lobster no. and Woodchuck, you know? Yeah, <laughs> so. but maybe it will change but they will, when no, it comes this is, out. Yeah, this is coming out. They've heard yeah. of Lady Bird. And then they'll say, we always knew. You always knew you could make oh, yeah. it. Yeah. Miserdonia was just testing you. No, it's yeah. like Jordan not making his uh, basketball <laughs> team.